In this video, we are going to talk about how to run the Node.js server and we add concurrently and how to solve the cost origin problems. So first we are going to create a new folder. So we make a directory and which is node we add concurrent. This is whatever you na the name you want. So we go to the folder by CD node we add concurrent and then we type code dot to open the visual studio code so after we enter the visual studio code we go to the terminal and then we init the package.json by using npm init that's wide so now we have the package.json so we can install our third party dependency so we are going to install the express and also the concurrency the concurrency allow us to run the backend server and the React server at the same time. And so we add some script to the package.json. And the first is we are going to add a client. So when we press npm run client, and it will start the React server. So npm start prefix and client. And this prefix client will make it go into the client's folders and then run npm start. And then we also add a dev develop and we want to run concurrently so we use concurrently and nookmont server and also npm run current and then we go to create a file server.js and then on the top we are going to create a express so we use constant express equal to require express and then we initialize the express by using constant app express and then we have to listen to the port 5000 so we type app dot listen 5000 and then we console dot load the server has started now we want to create a endpoint such that it will return a json object to the browsers so we go to create app dot get Greeting. and then we will return a JSON with greeting and hello so we save all we just want to start the server so we use nokmont server so if we type localhost 3000 to be 5000 because we are using the port 5000 and then slash greeting it will return a greeting hello. So now we are going to move on the we add part. So we type control C to stop the server. And then we are going to type mpx create we add app and type client. It will generate our we add application inside a folder called client. And then we delete the unnecessary files in the client. So we do not need the app.css and app.test.js. This CSS we also do not need. So we can delete these files. And then we go to the app.js and we remove this because it already not exists. And also we remove the report web vitals. So at the end, we also delete this one so now we can run the script and before we run the script we are going to remove this unnecessary code in the app.js and we just leave the app here now if we want to run server and client at the same time we have to type npm run dev so we type npm run dev and you can see it cannot find the index.css and because we already removed so we also need to delete this line so now you can see the app here and the server also start successfully so we back to the app.js and we want to fetch the api so we use the javascript fetch api so we type fetch and then this is localhost 5000 and then slash greeting and then dot band response and then response.json and since this is just one line so we do not need the credit bracket and then we use the dot then again data 
and then console.load the data so if we go to the web and then we go to the developer tools and then if we refresh the page you can see access to fetch at localhost greetings from origin localhost 3000 has been bothered by course policy so to deal with this problem in the development mode so we need another package called course so you can see the instruction here so we copy this and go to the top of the server.js and also we have to stop it and one npm i course to install this package and then on the top we paste this line and change this to constant and at last to use this course we have to use app.use so we enable all the calls by putting this line here so we save it and then we run the server and clients at the same time again by using npm run dev so now if we refresh the page you can see the greetings already pop up here and since we are using the development mode it is very normal to see there are two times console.load here because in production mode it will only happen once so now this is how to run the server and client concurrently and also how to deal with the course origin problems